So while we at it, let me just go ahead and just make a little quick video on this 2015 Impala I picked up from ACV. I'm not, I don't remember. I got my dad just pulling up. Get out the way. Uh, yeah, it's a 2015 Impala, and yes, it is a 15. And this uh, like a fleet one because the body style, you know, they it's the fleet series. So we'll make it right here. At the, at the lot, we're just gonna wait for him to pull in. Yeah, he, I know you know he shouldn't be driving with those eyes. I know he shouldn't be driving. Well, yeah, it's a 2015. Um, has like like right at 200,000 miles, but it's a fleet one, so you know they kept up on all. They got the maintenance records and all. that the little tire pressure, like because I don't know why they switched the wheels. Came from Texas. He taking pictures of that truck. As y'all can see, a lot filled up with cars. You got cars, but it's right here. You know, just a quick little video. I don't know. I think I should go out and buy some new headlights like I did for the other Impala. Cause this one, I don't know if it's just hazy or needs to just be clean. Or probably just, probably be better just go buy some new headlights, put some new headlights in there. So they both looking extra clean. I'm about to take it down to the detail shop. But yeah. It's clean though. I think I can get about 45 to 5 grand after the detail. Should I change the headlights or or y'all think I could be able to clean this one? You know, because this is like hazed up on the top. But I know if I put like two smoked headlights in there or like some chrome style headlights in there. But it's got good tires all the way around. It's good tires all the way around. Got the little light, little tin on there. Um, limited LT, you know. They had some little tape right there. I don't know why. Had the detail shop get that off of there. Interior is a little, little bad, like so. That's why the detail shop is gonna come in handy to get that clean, get it all the way cleaned up. Get all that cleaned up underneath there. I did go get the oil change. Only thing it did need, when I did get it, it was leaking. Like, if y'all can see it, like, right there. It had a little leak from the water pump. But, went ahead and went ahead and changed the water pump. That was the only thing that was leaking. It had a little, a little leaking, but the thing about this, that's, the, that's one thing I do like about Chevy. Like, you don't have to do the whole timing and everything, you know, when you do the water pump, because the water pump is on the outside, so you just change it, just change it, and get it to go. Not like one, like the Honda, like most Hondas and stuff, where you can do the timing belt and or a chain and everything. I mean, all the time and do it, but Paula, no service lights. Rod smooth. Drive smooth. Limited. Sunroof. Garage door opener. Let me know in the comment section below. I think I paid nine. I, I, I made, Cause I make the video like right before, like I actually do the thumbnail and everything. So I believe I paid 1900 for it. So plus transport. So I got like 20, like 23 in it, 23, 24, something like that. Probably I'll just say 25 after the water pump and everything and the details. So I'm gonna say 2,500 and a 2015 Impala. That's a right. Nova can, no issues. You know, no really, no little pulling or nothing. Just a little pressure light on because they changed the rims. You know, and they probably didn't put the sensors on there or they didn't reset the sensors. But I know I can get five grand. You know, I can double my money. Can get five grand. What's up, man? Not much. We're good. I got one for you. Yeah, need it right back. Uh, I think my brother's coming to get me. I think he was just taking pictures of this car. Uh, so. He's gonna pick you up. Yeah, he'll pick.
Where you want me to put it at? Where you want me to park it? Right here, school. All right. Yeah. I'll let you grab it. Grab my car. Uh, really just the interior, really just clean, cause of like, like those, you see those, like the back seats are kind of dirty, yeah. like that's the, that's really the main thing, and like this little, Inside. like little tape and stuff, so just the full detail, you know, so. Good. No rush right. on it? Huh? No, no rush on it, man, it, you know. Yeah. All right, no problem. Yeah, no rush on it. I want y'all to take your time, make it. Look at that, it just looks so good, don't it? Looks so good, it's gonna look so much better when it's in somebody's driveway. Let me know in the comment section below, should I get some new headlights for it? Because I like that one is all extra clean. Even though when I take the picture, they both gonna look clean. But I know when somebody walk up onto it, that one ain't gonna look as clean, so. I don't know. Is that a Mercury Marauder? You seen one of those? What's going on, man? Mercury, Marauder, that thing is clean. That thing is clean. Woo hoo, hey, baby, clean, clean. Woo hoo, Woo. That's a beautiful car. I ain't gonna even touch it because how clean that thing is. That's a beauty. 145,000 miles. Somebody about to make them some money. Brand new tires. Woo. Beautiful looking car. Beautiful car. Beautiful thing. Still costs all the money. Those things off all the money. Just wonder what they're gonna sell it for. I don't know what year it is, but it got 145,000 miles clean inside and out. So I know they're gonna answer all the money for it. But let me know in the comment section below how much you'll sell it for. Let me know. Um, also, let me know so I get some new headlights as well. But that's it for this video. 2015 Chevy Impala. Um, gonna be good to go could have financed it i have to go look at the value on the finance value i have to go look at the retail value but you know it does has has good service records because it was a fleet but then you know the maintenance not i'm not 100 percent sure but it is a 2015 it does have 200,000 miles but i have to check i don't know probably just do outright cash type deal you know five grand 45 you know 48, something like that. Take no less than 45, no, no less than a $2,000 profit. But yeah, as y'all can see, Jacksonville Jaguar. Got my little T-Mobile bag on the back. Keep off. It's just something I carry around here and there. Just started carrying around. It was free with T-Mobile Tuesday. If you got T-Mobile, T-Mobile Tuesday. They, offer, they should give you something, but I yeah, it was free. I carry it around people always saying, you work for T-Mobile? No, I don't, but I always say I do. Say I do. Hey, conversation started. Yeah, I work for T-Mobile. What do you do? That's it. That's all it is. It's a conversation starter. You work for T-Mobile? Oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Bam, we exchange some information. Voila. But I appreciate everybody for tuning in. If you haven't already, you know, like this video, subscribe, I'm out.